Well, many of you may not have a T-Rex, but if you do, hopefully this will help you out if this happens to you. Well, at first I thought it was a gear. Then I thought it broke the main shaft bolt. But what it turned out to be was the one-way auto rotation barely let go and was slipping. So here's how I fixed it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is remove this bolt right here that holds the gear to the shaft from rotating. Once you loosen that up, you can pull that out like that. The next thing you want to do is remove all the ball links from your swash plate use a tool like this and that pops them right off so you get them all off so then you want to get this out of here so you, without having to take the whole thing apart if you gently pull up on this you can actually flip that out like that and now your whole unit comes off and then the gear pops out just like that and there's the whole unit all right, this is your one-way bearing here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what to do now. Okay, we'll take this apart now. All right, and uh, make sure that this washer, there's a washer on here, that washer goes on this side of the gear in here. So we just set that down right now so I can know what that is. Here's the, uh, the shaft and the one-way bearing is in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of here, noting that it's on this side. This is the side with the screws. That's the side that has to go back up in. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. Okay, this is the one-way bearing that has gone bad. They have, have upgrades, but I just ordered a standard uh, replacement for the T-Rex 500. This is an H520T one-way bearing and uh, we're gonna pop that out and I'm gonna show you how to put in the new one. Uh, all you need is a drill press. So if you don't have a drill press you can probably find somebody that has one. It takes no time at all to do this and I'm gonna show you. So let's go up and do it. Okay, here's the gear. I'm gonna press it out. I'm press it out from this side with the metal ring on it and press it out on this side where it's sticking out already a little bit. Now, note the writing on the bearing is on this side. And on the bearing, the new bearing, you have to have the writing on the same side when you press that back in. So you don't want to forget that. That goes on this side. Okay, not this side, this side. This is the side the writing has to go on. And what I'm going to do is just going to set this down. I've got a little bit of a wedge here. And I'm going to set this down on top of that like that. And I'm going to take the bearing and just set it down here, the new bearing. Okay, I've got 11 32nd quarter inch drive socket. And what you want to do is close the, uh, the chuck and make sure that that is centered on there. And then you just want to crank down on this slightly and make sure you're totally centered on the bearing. And everything is straight up and down. And when you crank down on this, that bearing should drop, pop right out. just like that. And there is the old bearing. Okay, I'm going to pop in the new bearing now. 
So what you want to do is make sure this is nice and clean on the inside where this bearing goes. No grease in there whatsoever. Clean that all out really good. You don't want any grease on that part of the bearing. Okay, and the writing from the new bearing goes on this side. So the writing is right, right here. It's very small and hard to see, but set that back down on there. Put the bearing in place. And what we're going to do is we're going to press that down until it becomes flush with this part right here. It has to be flush. It's only got to go in about a, a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to put that on there. We're going to put this on here. So I'm going to crank this down right now and press that bearing in. Press that down in there. And make sure that's tight. There we go. It's flush and the bearing is in. So let's put the helicopter back together and give it a try. Next thing you want to do is take this piece right here and stick it in this way. Okay? Pop it in just like that. And you'll see that you will have time, you would only be able to turn it one way. That's the one way bearing. Then put this small washer back on there like this and then put this gear on. So once you get the gear on, make sure that this is lined up so that this bolt will be able to fit through the hole. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and push that in just like this. And now that should stay. And we'll take that screw back out. Then just slide the gear in like this. And we're going to put the rotor assembly on like this. Line that up, drop that in like that. There you, you need to put this ball link on here. You gotta pop that back on. Like that. Okay, so that's still on. Now we've got to get this back on there, so you just pull this back just slightly. Got that back on. Now we're going to hook up the ball links on each side. One there and the other one over here. Okay. So there, once we've got it lined up with the hole, we want to put that bolt in there. And put the nut on the other side. I'm going to line this up. uses a five cell five thousand milliamp battery. Make sure everything's working. All good. It gives a little quick little spin up here. And there we go. Now we can take it out and fly.
Well, like I said before, not many of you may have a T-Rex, but if this helps any one of you, then I'm grateful. So thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, stay well, and God bless. Dave the Night Flyer, signing off for now.